Hey y'all, Emily Reeves here in Flying Sparks Garage, and I would like to welcome you to Peak Auto's YouTube channel. We are going to have a fun episode here today. If you like building stuff, laughing at other people's mistakes, and ultimately having triumph, you might dig this episode. We are going to be installing the cooling system on our 73 Ford Bronco that we recently did a 302 roller motor swap on out of a Fox Body Mustang. If you would like to see the whole build, check out our YouTube channel, Flying Sparks Garage. Hope you enjoy. We're so eager to get the cooling system in this Bronco. We are such dorks and ordered the wrong radiator brackets. We ordered them for the three core instead of for the four core and the cold case radiator is thicker like a four core radiator would be. So because we don't have those in yet and we are so ready and done with waiting on getting this cooling system in so we can hit the key, we're going to rig the radiator in here until the brackets come in, then we will be able to slide them in, lock them in place, and the radiator will be good to go after that. So, we have some mounting points down here that are metal and not ideal for the bottom of our beautiful cold case radiator to sit on. So, I just grabbed these two mechanics for our gloves, and I'm going to slide the glove onto the mounting point so that we have a nice, soft, leathery material for the radiator to sit on so that we can hit the key. <laughs> it ain't right, but we're gonna do it. We've got heater hose. Got one that goes to the intake and one that goes to the water pump. We're gonna get those connected and then move on to the radiator. Radiator. What are we gonna call it? I love these hose cutters. One more clamp to tighten. Sweet. Mechanics wear gloves. The new radiator mounts. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. Got that. Woo! Coming in hot. She a dandy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go get coolant. Wait. It is coolant time. Here are a handful of reasons why we choose Peak 5050 10X. You do not have to mix this. This is pre-mixed. You don't have to add water. You don't have to figure out ratios. You just dump it in your radiator. Another reason we love it is because it's good for all makes and models. European, Asian, and North American vehicles all can take this coolant. It is why we keep virtually cases of this stuff around because we have all makes and models in our shop and we need that flexibility. The reason they call it 10X is because it has 10 times the scale fighting inhibitors. Sounds fancy, I support it. Essentially, the scale fighting inhibitors fight corrosion and corrosion kills cooling capabilities. And I don't imagine that corrosion would be any good whenever you have freezing conditions as well. So we trust this stuff, we use it in everything we own, and it's what the Bronco gets. I think we better get busy dumping it in that radiator. P.S. They have a rebate going on right now. When you buy a gallon jug, you get seven bucks back, which is around half of your money back. <laughs> That's rad. <laughs> now you have no reason not to go buy yourself some. Okay, you guys. My pet cock is tight. Lower radiator hose is tight. Upper radiator hose is tight. Both heater hoses are tight. We do not have brackets, but it's just kind of being held in place by its own radiator hoses. We've got the brackets on order. We're not going to drive it like this. We're just going to crank it up. I guess we want to hear this thing fire. Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. Do 
Drink up, little lady. Time for another gallon. Something tells me it's all of a sudden gonna be full and just start spilling all over the floor. <laughs> of course, I know we'll need to add more after the engine cranks up and cycles coolant, but once we get the radiator full, that'll be a big step. Where is that coming from? Oh, I see it, I see it. It's like gathering on the water pump. Something's going on there. New gasket. It could be that those bolts are just a tiny bit too long, but they're the ones that came out of the old one, so I wouldn't think that they would be too long. Pull it off and check my surfaces. Well, I guess let's uh, drain at least some of the coolant out. <laughs> we'll thermostat housing. Start over. thermostat didn't seat all the way or something? Could be. I'm not sure if there's like a cut in there for it. If it slid down, that could be a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, it did slip. So I'm gonna try to find a gasket. Okay, yeah, cool. let's look in the Bronco box. That's an easy fix. Well, we couldn't find a freaking gasket in our gasket box, so we're gonna have to wait until the morning to go to the parts store and grab a gasket. Dang it! <laughs> we'll see y'all in the morning. Ready to go in the house? Let's go in the house. Back in action. Good morning. We think that we um, have a gasket that's going to work. There is this paper that comes on here that's sticky and you're able to stick the gasket, but I think I did it wrong when I initially installed it. So this water neck has a provision for our thermostat. I think I had the gasket and then the thermostat instead of the thermostat then the gasket, so it never seated properly. Now we're going to install the thermostat into the housing and lay the gasket on top to hold the thermostat steady in its channel so that it seals up to the intake and doesn't leak. So I feel really good about that. Lesson learned there for sure. And it's time to bolt this thing back up. The bottom bolt's gonna be real fun to get in, y'all. I kinda want my headlight. This bottom bolt is giving me such a pain. All right, cool. That's done. You're done? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, that was, that was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Crack myself up there. I <laughs> said, babe, this bottom bolt, after I messed with it, I was like, I give, you do that bottom bolt. He's like, okay. <laughs> when he got it finished, he's like, we should shoot something funny like you did it. That was so easy. <laughs> okay, I think we should put some more coolant in this thing and hope that it doesn't leak back out. Do you guys have any stories of uh, learning the hard way when you were learning or even <laughs> current times whenever you know better and you just make mistakes? Post those stories below. I would love to read them. <laughs> okay, are we doing this? Yeah. Key on. Key on. Okay, so now we're going to go to... First startup. Initial startup. Spin and see if we get tack. He cranked up! <laughs> Good morning. What an awesome night we had cranking up the Bronco. There are always so many lessons to learn when you build stuff in your shop and learn as you go. And we certainly learned a lot last night. It was such a good feeling hitting that key and hearing it fire up. Thank you guys as always for watching. We love and appreciate each of you. Even if it's just a like, a subscribe, and a comment, that means the world to us. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time.